Tonight, San Diego is seeing the largest number of COVID-19 cases ever. That's since the pandemic began. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Richard Allen in for Jesse Pagan. County health officials are reporting 5,976 new cases, just under 6,000. Now that's a huge jump from the just over 3,600 new cases reported yesterday. It represents a positivity rate of 21% out of 28,000 tests. The previous single day record was just over 4,500 back on January 7th. That's before vaccines were widely available almost a whole year ago. Now this surge is being seen across the country, not only here in San Diego, and it is affecting everything from college bowl games as we saw here in San Diego on Tuesday to New Year's Eve parties and festivities in major cities as Americans face long lines for testing. News Ace Monica Peters has the very latest. Health officials across the country are urging people to continue safety protocols like wearing a mask, getting tested, and only gathering with a small number of people as COVID-19 cases continue a dramatic surge. San Diego County health officials say 5,967 people tested positive for COVID-19 Wednesday. They're strongly suggesting New Year's Eve celebrations be kept to a small number of people to cut down on rising cases. The county also reported 11 deaths and says the case rate is three times higher for those who are unvaccinated. National health officials are also sounding the alarm about the surge. We're not going to live forever in a constant crisis, uh, but for the time being, it's going to be a challenge. The county is reporting no deaths from the Omicron variant and just one hospitalization. However, it believes Omicron is behind many of the new cases here in San Diego and nationally. However, the Delta variant is still circulating. We are at the very beginning, unfortunately, uh, and likely have at least uh, four to eight weeks before we're going to see it uh, rise and then begin to fall again. And during that time, we are going to see uh, COVID activity in this country like we haven't seen since the beginning of the pandemic. The number of county residents hospitalized now stands at 475, rising by 48 from a day prior. ICU patients also increased by 9 to 111. Overall, about 28,000 people were tested in the county on Wednesday, and the seven-day average positivity rate jumped to 14.5%. The White House also announced that it will release 500 million COVID-19 tests for free, but the timeline for distribution is still unclear. LaMonica Peters, CBS 8. All right, thanks, LaMonica. Despite dramatically climbing COVID cases here in San Diego County, New Year's Eve events are selling out. Many businesses at the gas lamp say their reservations for New Year's Eve have booked fast. Now, because they want to stay open this year after taking a year hiatus because of the pandemic, gas lamp businesses say they are taking all the necessary precautions to bring a safe and healthy celebration for their guests. It will be safe here and we'll be taking temperatures at the door and people will be wearing their masks and uh, we will be as safe as we can be. However, county health officials are urging San Diegans to avoid large New Year's parties. One local doctor has suggested shifting New Year's Eve gatherings to a later date in order not to overwhelm hospital staff and also help decrease this uptick in cases. There is some good news, though, while those COVID case numbers soar, experts believe though the spike is not over, we are in a better position than we have been in the past. The vaccines, they are making a big difference this year compared to last. News Ace Jesse Pagan talked with doctors who say the shots are the reason there is not a dire crisis in our hospitals right now. It's not great. With a record number of COVID cases in San Diego County, nearly 6,000 in one day, winter is proving to be open season for the coronavirus. We're seeing numbers that are equivalent to where things were last year. Um, we're on track to meet or potentially even exceed the daily number of cases that we had last year. And Last year was pre-vaccine. UC San Diego School of Public Health Assistant Professor Dr. Rebecca Fielding Miller says that's the difference. While COVID cases rise, she says there are less hospitalizations, people on ventilators, and deaths, adding a layer of context to the surge. The vaccines are doing a phenomenal job of um, keeping people from getting really, really ill. But the bad news is that this new variant, Omicron, is able to evade people's immune responses after they get vaccination so that they are getting the virus and able to spread the virus. 
uh, but at least they're not getting sick. Which is why Dr. Davy Smith, professor and head of infectious diseases at UC San Diego, says we still have to be careful. Testing is becoming scarce. We've seen long lines at PCR sites and sold out signs on store shelves for at-home kits. And with common colds and the flu still circling, it may be a guessing game as to which version of the sniffles you might have. If people are feeling a little scratchy throat or a little fever maybe or uh, a cough or just not feeling exactly right, um, just play it safe. Fielding Miller expects cases in San Diego to peak next week and for the rough patch to last through the month, but there is hope. Remember, this is not forever. COVID is going to be endemic. COVID is going to be around for a long time, but this big peak, this hard time is is shorter. Jesse Pagan, News 8.